Okay, so we're going to go over the credentials function. So basically, we're going to start off with the student view, and basically what credentials does is show you how you maintain your cert for your credential. So if you click here, it'll show you what you need to complete. And it'll show you all the training that you need to complete that applies, you have to complete to maintain your cert. So these are all the trainings that I could do that would apply to the 150 hours. So that's when I have to have all this training done by. So how this would help with OTEP is you can make a new separate credential called OTEP and the specific OTEP assignments would have to be done to gain the OTEP credential. Okay, so now we'll go with the administrative view of the credentials. So click administration and go down to manage credentials. And we're going to add a new credential. So this will be your EMS. And we'll name it OTEP. And uh, we'll, this is continuing education. And uh, for the options, uh, you want a certain expiration date, uh, especially for OTEP. Uh, we can set that yearly or every three years the way it's set up right now. Uh, here you want to check yes. Allow users to view but not edit. Um, you want to pin it to their schedule so they'll see it on their home page what requirements they need to fill for OTEP. Um, don't allow editing by the user. And uh, I also would advise to not automatically renew a credential because uh, the files need to be reviewed before uh, submittal. And then uh, make sure those changes are saved. Here we can manipulate all the uh, settings by clicking on the wheels. Uh, at this point, all the OTEP users at CWFD are volunteers, so I'll find them here. So these are all the enrolled volunteers that we have. So I'll select all visible. Those are the people that I want. Uh, we're going to start them this month. And they'll have to do all the rest of the assigned training. And they'll have until the end of the year to do it. Uh, in the countywide uh, case, if we do it that way, we could set the expiration date for three years if we uh, decide to do that, or you can do it year by year. Whatever you decide to do, you're able to do that. So these are all the users. It shows uh, all the uh, pertinent information. And I can, all these people that I have enrolled, now they will see uh, OTEP on their credential list. And underneath that, they'll have assignments or whatever we decide to assign. So we're going to go back to the OTEP editing credential screen. And we can add custom alerts to people uh, when their credentials have expired. Or they, they haven't had the training that is assigned to the credential if it's late. So let's, for instance, say uh, their spinal training is past due. then you could say that. So on the expiration date, they'll get that message. And then you can click who gets that administrator would be, in this case, it would be myself and any other administrators. Uh, in the OTEP case, it would be uh, Mark Muir. Uh, also, you'd want the supervisor notified so that they can correct the action. And uh, you can also add individuals there that you want to add. If you want to add Dr. or other individuals could do that as well. 
So we'll save that under credentials. And then topics, like I said, you can, you can uh, add anything that you want. Um, in this case, it'll be um, the yearly assignments and presentations. And we'll say 24 hours of training, a couple hours a month. And uh, this is optional. Uh, you can choose other training. You can offer other topics that would uh, allow uh, to be kind of towards the required training hours. So here I can add all the courses that we want to by the year. So I can show you an example of here of all the OTEPs that I already have downloaded here. I can put them all underneath in that credential. So this is the training they have to meet within the year to receive the credential. So those have those for now. So these are the ones that they have to do. <clears throat> and actually to um, at the users I'm going to add myself so that I can show you that function. So that is my credential and I've got it all set up. So I click on home. So now we're back to the uh, student or supervisor view. And you can see here on my pin to my home screen is OTEP as I added credential. So um, these are assignments that I have to do in order to meet that credential. So I can click on that and see all the training that applies. I see I get some hours to fulfill. I'm not click there. And I can see all the training that we have to complete. I can click on anything here and it'll download. 